morning all hope you are already doing good today this video i am going to explain about the dart convention okay dart convention is a method which is used to find the sign of mutual inductance that is either it is following the positive sign or as negative sign for that reason only we are using the dart convention in each and every coil we have to place the dart either current entering side or current leaving side wherever you want we can place okay the dot convention i said that it the major purpose is to require the i mean to know the polarity of the mutual induced voltage okay why because if you know the m sign only we can say what is the polarity of the mutual induced voltage okay if you know both self induced voltage and the mutual induced voltage we can write the kvl equations okay so for that one all are following the, the same thing okay if current entered at the dotted terminal of one coil of an inductor then the induced voltage in the another coil which is having the positive polarity okay vice versa means if current leaves from the dotted terminal of one coil then the induced voltage at the another coil is having the negative polarity entered means positive polarity leaves means negative polarity okay so in in another way okay in a simple way i am going to explain when both when the assumed currents in the both entered or both leaves of pair of couple coils by a dot terminus the sign of m terms will be the same of l terms okay that is if i write l term as a plus lda by dt means the mutual inductance mutual induced voltage is also having the plus mda by dt okay if i write minus lda by dt means the mutual is also having the minus mda by dt when it is the case when both current entered and both leaves from the dotted terminus okay if it is opposite means one current entered by the dotted terminus while other leaves by the dotted terminus means the sign of m terms will be the opposite signs of l terms okay so this is what i am following to explain the all the things okay so i am considering an example in this example current i1 of t is fed with the coil 1 okay by this current i1 of t the mutual induced voltage occurs at a v2 of t i am writing as plus m da1 by dt why because in the both cases current entered entered at the same terminals okay so in this second example okay in this case current entered at the dotted terminals but the second coil is having the current leaves at the dotted terminal so i have to write the negative sign if this is with the voltage means the opposite sign we have to write that is minus m da1 by dt okay so i am reversing i mean in the both two examples i am feeding the current at i1 of t in coil 1 now second case i am feeding the current at coil 2 okay so this is the current at coil 2 but current entered at current entered at the undotted terminal so i have to consider opposite sign that is minus m da2 by dt okay so understood so current at entered at the undotted terminal we our intention is either in both the coils current has to enter or leave the same sign has to follow okay so in this case one coil is having the current entering and another is calling the current leaving so the opposite side that is minus m da2 by dt the same thing have you seen in the example four both having the current leaving okay so we have to use this same sign that is m da2 by dt okay hope you understood guys if the coils is having the current entering and leaving having the same dotted terminals we are using the positive polarity if it is opposite means we are using the negative polarity hope you understood okay so i am classifying the coupling that is the main purpose is we are using the dot convention for the coupled circuit so either the coupling is electrical coupling and the magnetic coupling electrical coupling the term itself it is saying that the they both are electrically coupled means there must be a physical connection between the two coils okay so they are they are, these are classified into two things that is series aiding means both the currents are same both the in the dot places current is entering so they are following the aiding okay in this case at the first coil current entering we place it the dot in the second coil current leaving place we place it the dot so they both are having the opposition okay so this is we are calling as a series aiding this is we are calling as a series opposing and another coupling is 
magnetic coupling so both doesn't have any electrical contact that is there is no physical contact between the two coils but the current flowing through one coil has to lead the produce production of emf in the another coil okay so if this is in this case also we have a two things that is opposing and aiding if the two dots placed in the same thing means current entering side or current leaving side we are saying that the series aiding if it is with the opposite that is we are calling as a series opposing thank you guys hope you understood this one okay have a nice day take care